Welcome back to part three of us doing a walkthrough in the greenhouse. We are in southern Illinois, on Grows on 7A. My name's Troy, this is Fig and Fruit. And the tree you're looking at here today is, this is LSU Hoyer, Huye, Adie, however you like to say it. You can see this one set good fruit. They typically set pretty good fruit. The next one up here, uh, it didn't have very many figs on it last year, but this year, it does. And this is Mutante Veneto. Is this from Nikki? It was a yellowish fig with a red interior. Nice size little fig. Good fruit set. This next one is another uh, called a Dom Negra. Got a good fruit set. This one kind of sandwiched in here. I need to separate these out a little bit. Uh, with all this fruit, this is LSU Champagne. Has a tremendous amount of fruit set. I mean, tremendous amount. Let's move this big one over here a little bit. This, this one back over here that you're looking at is Ronde Bardo has a real good fruit set on it you can see it didn't it don't once they get to this size and you get them out in the pot they they just grow a little bit and this is when you know the hormones are right they just put on a big pile of fruit at the end of them this this tree here's uh, about six years old Got a bad place or two, but I mean, it's even got one couple down here at the base, you can see. But it's, it, for the most part, it's a healthy tree. This next tree is a, a graft. The striped side is for pony. And it's grafted way down here is the graft. So this graft's been on here for several years. This is the graft that I originally grafted several years ago. Over here is where the other graft starts on the other side of the tree. They were just little bud grafts. And as you can see, it has a good fruit set. This side over here is Del Sinwami Ron. And the root stock itself is te uh, Black Texas Everberry. I bought this root stock like in the fall of my first year out in Oklahoma City at a at a nursery. I just found it sitting in the back corner. But well, let's buy that. You know how that goes. I wanted another fig tree, so. And that was actually in the day when you bought a lot of stuff on either individuals or uh, eBay. Fig bib was just kind of starting to get going. This one over here. Is Minskarinska 10. It's got fruit swelling on it, and you can see it primarily likes to grow fruit. This side here didn't grow, do much this year, but it's okay. You'll have an unbalanced tree sometimes. This next one here is Black Mantisina. What happened to that leaf there? Huh. I don't know why it done that. We're gonna pop it off there. This is my Caledon Blanc. I cut it back and it's been a little bit slow to come back, but it's rejuvenate prune coming back. It wasn't as healthy as I really would have wanted one, so 
This one next to it is Black Mantisina. It's got a decent fruit set. And for a recomparisons, this is an in-ground Black Mantisina. It don't have near the the fruit set on it. It's got some fruit on it, but not all branches got fruit on them or got fruit set on them, but they do have fruit, you know. There's, there's, there's I don't know, I would say 70% has fruit on it. Yeah, that would be a fair number, 70%. another black mantisina potted too you see it's got quite a few just about ain't no room in here for potted trees these uh these in-ground trees are humongous and you know look at the you can just see the that's lsu oh yay who yay I mean, there's, it, it's just all figs everywhere you look. I believe that's a, uh, pretty sure it's an LSU. All your Ouya. The taller one is Laterula. It has a good fruit set. Here's a little five gallon that I up potted this year that's a white Madeira that I up potted I figure it'll get a place in a bigger greenhouse at some point so this what I have another one this one here is called a Dom Cotati it's uh it's got figs on it you know decent 70% here's a few that I just trees I've potted up this year uh, some hardy Chicago's. This is a violet, Tacoma violet. Probably a petite old beak in there. Just some different stuff. This tree over here on my left is Turka. Uh, it ain't really showing any signs of fruiting. So I guess we'll wait another season and see what it does. This one on the end is another LSU. Haw yay, hoo yay. Hollier. This is this tree here is Eagle Pass Unknown. Starting to get some fruit on it. Right there. So we'll get to see what it is this year. Suspect it's a brown turkey, but can't say it until I see it. This little cordon thing here is Italia Yellow Westfield back over there in the corner this is another Raven to Calci good fruit set looks like some of these trees over here got a little dry this is LSU Thibodeau got just a few, few few fruit on it I bought it as a bare root back over the winter this is sweet cherry tart has no fruit on it this is love for some reason it's just turning yellow I guess it's really that dry don't feel like it but this one here is Green Celeste 817. Yeah, I might overwater these today for some reason. Not why they're yellow. This one right here is. Alright, this lovely tree here is Parrot Jaw Ramada. I got this one from Dan to replace my revert. Uh, and you can see it's got stripes on it. No doubt about that. Oh, I'm not sure what this 
is here. No, it acts like it's dry, but it's not. I don't know why they're doing that right here. It's kind of weird. That one back there in the corner is from the Fig Hunter 279. I'm not sure what that is. More of the Casa, probably. It's got figs on it. That is a Norde Barbantine. Why it looks, I say the leaf pattern looks a lot like the uh, Valade Solis. This one here at your foot is LSU Brandy. That right there is Brooklyn Purple. And the next one is a rejuvenated fig going. All right, so this big tree in ground is white Madeira. It has figs everywhere. No two ways about it. Here on June 17th, we're gonna get a lot of figs this year. That's another Blanche de Duzezon. And I believe this one back here uh, it was sold to me under another name, but I believe it is Brunswick. And it is a good fig. I don't see a name on that one, so it ain't got no figs on it. That's a Socorro Black. Only got a couple. This is a violet support sitting next to it. Vanilla shoe champagne. As you can see, it even when it's small, it likes the fig. It puts on a lot of figs. That, that's a good honey fig to have. This is a, a potted white Madeira number one. LSU purple. Two of them right there in a row. This is LSU Houye. Houye. Yep, I have several. Some of these I have several of. It's back here in the back that you can't hardly see is a LSU purple. And so is this bigger one right here, LSU purple. I like LSU purple. It's a good honey fig. This is LSU Red. There's a few figs on it. That's another purple. This is a... Got a name, but I can't hardly see it. I don't know what it is. got decent fruit set on it though whatever it is this one over here is an LSU purple and then this little squatty one back over here is LSU Scott's black another LSU purple both of these are LSU purples I got a whole roll of LSU purples right there This is an improved Celeste. This is a, an O'Rourke. And then this is a Hunt. And they all have Good fruit set. White Toriana. And it has it, that's a good size fig when it uh, when that tree matures. Have an LSU tiger back here in the back.
This is LSU Gold. Go back here and dig in on this one. I don't know. It's got good fruit set, whatever it is. This is, that is Fico Seco. Also thought to be the same as Moral de Caneva. This is Robato. Naples yellow back here in the black back. And then this larger tree is a Moral de Caneva. This is a Smith. And a Naples yellow. Which it has pretty decent fruit set. I really like this. This is a good fig. Coral black. This is a coral black and a violet set port. Coral, they both got some figs on them. Not very many. Right now there's got one there and one there. This one here's got about three here. I guess it's decided it's gonna open up and rain. Here's just a coral black. And a violet sephora. These figs are a lot further along. Another sephora black. Here's a yellow long neck and a five. Oh. Ah. This is Scott's Yellow. And now we're going to get on over here. These are all going to be Mount Etna's. Uh, Hardy Chicago, Malta Black, uh, Black Greek. This is a San Miguel Roxo right here. But, I mean, you can kind of, they all got real good fruit set. Uh, even these bigger ones, here's a, a Tacoma Violet. This is a... Uh, Kasari, Kasari. This is Tacoma Violet, and this is my Malta Black. I have several of them. As you probably see in one of my other videos, there was a Maryland Berry and a couple others too. So Malta Black does it. Look at that funky thing. You just will not even leave that on there. Because it will not ripen and be edible. Huh. Little deformity. Alright, we're about done with this row. Uh, I don't know what that one is. It's one of these permanent pots, so I don't know. Uh, sometimes I lose some of the tags of these. I figured out that's Cavalieri. That's probably Cavalieri. These are probably both Cavalieri. That's why they're sitting next to each other. This is Vala de Solis. It's got a few fruit on it. That says Hardy Chicago. Here's another Vala de Solis. Hardy Chicago. This is a, a Shia Black. And then this is a need another Nero 600. That's a Smith. This is a Sante Drago that's growing back 
from rejuvenation. This has got quite a few on it. I have some hope for this to be a real early one. This is Fioroni de Rugal. Has a pretty decent fruit set. This is also Fioroni de Rugal next to it. This is another DD Vada de Solis back here. There's another Fioroni de Rugal that's got a, a nice fruit set. Now here's one that you don't see much of. And I'm not sure, uh, I, I bought its name as New Orleans Banana. I don't have anything else like it. I'll say that about it. it, it and it is what it says it is. It's, it's like a honey banana. Here's my jumbo. Uh, this is, I had gotten a few fruit one time before. And then it didn't fruit, but this year it has some fruit on it. It doesn't seem to be a real prolific fruiter, nor does it fruit every year. This is a pastillier. Here's another unique one. This and this branch here's got a lot of fruit on it. This is a, a dark honey fig. Ada. Ida. A-I-D-A Wilberto that you got this in Puerto Rico from me you said your wife was named this this was your wife's name so you can pronounce it you know which one I'm talking about I know you'll see this video but there's my version of it and it has quite a few figs on it it's uh, maybe three years old this year it's just in a five gallon Back over here is Raja seedling number two. It has good fruit set. Haven't ever got any fruit off of it before. So we're gonna get to see what it's about this year. This is a blue, another blue Celeste. Has nice fruit set. And a hearty Chicago right next to it with good fruit set and then back here we have cherry pie acts like it's needing some water that's not though it's good and moist down in there we'll give it some water I'm getting ready to water them anyway Portuguese yellow is this last one here on the end And I believe that covers all the potted ones. That covers all of our potted ones. Uh, so thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the quick tour and seeing what our fruit set looked like on June 17th. Uh, the great news about that is if it's a 90 day fig, by September 17th, we will be eating or getting ready to eat them as they will all be ripe by then. Everything you basically see, lots of figs, and that's just the potted ones. Uh, the in-ground ones are full too, or getting that way. You can, here's here, check this one out real quick before we quit. It ain't got very many figs on it, but it's got some on it. This is uh, Constantine de Algiers. It, uh, it fruited good last year, but it didn't eat fruit so wonderful this year. But it's got some on it. We'll get some. We're going to have to do some thinning and some training on it better next year. We're going to do that on all of them. And that will see if we have a different type of fruit set. So, thanks for watching.